heated debate between Dindi Nyoro and uh, Maina Kamande, the nominated member of parliament. What do you have for us this morning? Well, thank you very much and good morning, uh, Brenda. And as it is well known, it is fact and based from the fact that in society today, it's as if uh, politics being played out in church is something that has been accepted by society, even congregations that attend churches for a uh, church sermon. And it is turning out to be as a routine for politicians to make headway to churches and make sentiments, even exchange brawls in front of uh, a congregation as well as push and pull, uh, supremacy battles, and this, uh, as it happens, the society is watching. We have uh, internet, we have television, we have radio, and our children and children among different cross uh, gender are watching this. And uh, evidently, anyone can tell that uh, as society is changing, so many things are changing for good and also for bad. It, it's, it, it's a topic that has not been discussed and uh, digested fully, But question is, what is the solution to this menace that we keep on witnessing in churches and places of worship when leaders take stand uh, to make sentiments or make uh, comments? What is supposed to be said in church? What is not supposed to be said in church? And who is supposed to mitigate these sentiments being made in church that propagate or perhaps fuel uh, uh, exchange of brawls and such like? And it is a society norm that is taking shape and most likely uh, perhaps being accepted as something that is, is normal. And today, I bumped into a number of clergies who had gathered here today, but some of them have left out. And it seems that uh, in their mission of what they do, it's, uh, uh, they have a solution to these menace, but to understand the scope of what exactly they do and what will be the solution. Joining me now uh, live is uh, Bishop uh, Jonah Karioki of Rock of Christ Gospel Churches. Thank you very much for making time with KTA News. Kindly uh, uh, tell me. What is uh, second generation uh, church uh, and what is it that you do to ensure that you mitigate what we see in churches, uh, especially brought uh, front or brought about by politicians? Thank you very much, Mr. Stanley. Um, second generation priests of priesthood, we are a group of like-minded pastors, bishops and reverends who, are, who have come together and we want to think on how we can eradicate these men menace of corruption and maybe bad politics that have been that have been done or prayed in the churches. And for sure, we've been doing this from uh, January, and we've uh, done it. And we've uh, like we have a members of uh, like uh, one ten thousand members who are under the second generation. And we are saying that our mission is to make sure that uh, these cor these kind of corrupt leaders that are reading us are no are no more and therefore we are saying if we are given platform to speak because for sure we've been thinking that the the tv stations are not here to uh, you know to help people who are speaking the truth and therefore we thought that uh, the truth is not um, wanted in the tv station and therefore maybe the tv stations go to the to um, alternative facts. But today we thank God that you've given us this platform so that we can speak the truth and that it is only the truth that will set our people free. We are saying that this battle of uh, corruption is a spiritual battle. And therefore, if it is left to the readers only, maybe president and the, and the deputy president and the, and the other guys, political, uh, political, political people, it will not help. But if it if they will bump the ball to us as spiritual leaders, we'll be able to help them and see what we can do together. Allow me to cut you short. What exactly have you done so far to ensure that at least you uh, address this particular issue with bishops and priests across the country? We've done a lot of meetings. In fact, last year we had a meeting in Nakuru which was attended by 350 clergy, and we talked about this thing and we said we will not allow our churches to uh, will not allow uh, politicians to come to our churches and maybe take a platform and speak politics or maybe exchange, exchange uh, blows. And therefore we said we must be very categorical that we are not giving you this platform. And therefore from then, they have not, uh, we've not invited them, them to our churches. In fact, uh, they, are, they, they are inviting themselves. And in fact, for the numbers of the churches that have been going, they've been inviting themselves. And, uh, and you can see for sure, I'm not saying that the, other, uh, like the, the church where there was a battle in Kitui, here in Moranga, that uh, it's a bad church. But the father, I think the father had tried. But these guys, they took the platform and make sure that the platform belongs to them. But we are saying we must, we must curtail them on this. We are not giving a damn. We are saying we, this must be curtailed. And that is why we are traversing Moranga, try to 
talk to pastors and clergy, uh, every clergy and bishops to make sure that this will not happen again. But we've seen pastors and bishops calling for calm between, uh, among politicians. Uh, how impactful do you expect this to make headway? You know these guys are our members. And therefore, even when we are calling calm, we are calling calm because they are... And that is why I said earlier that this is a, a, a spiritual battle. If it is left to us, we can be able to fight it. But what we've been looking at, what we've been seeing recently is that um, we are not given good platform to speak the truth because these people who are called politicians, they are not even helping the, 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 normal, the common Mwanainchi. They are bringing battle to us and they are not helping the common Mwanainchi. For sure, if, because I know you've been traversing Muranga, there are many issues left down there. And uh, people of Muranga, maybe they are saying, why can't they help us with, waters, with water? Uh, our livers are, are drying up and these guys are not helping us. And that is why we are saying these political guys, these political class people, we must tell them no. And church must come, come up and say, or step up and tell these politicians we must not do this. And I've been asking myself, because of many churches and many bishops that have not, have not uh, you know, uh, joined us, they are saying politi polit politics is a data game. And I've been asking myself, who will sanitize this? if it is not the church. And these guys, they are coming to church. And therefore, we are saying we will sanitize this by preaching peace, by preaching against politics in the church until the second generation is heard and maybe they articulate the, their issues and their issues are taken seriously by the, by the common Mwanainji, who is Wanjiko. But given the fact that these politicians keep on discussing and making political sentiments uh, among, uh, uh, amidst other issues that concern Wanjiko, uh, like you said earlier, water, there is also the concern about ethics. And whatever they display in church, the public gets to see it, even our children. Uh, how do we stop these politicians from making sentiments, political sentiments, even though they are members of the church? How do we stop them from making political sentiments to them making sentiments that are of development and if they want to make personal sentiments how do we make that not happen in church we are saying that um uh, thank you for that and but we are saying that these people uh, we must call them on a board and that is what we are saying that uh, as we give them this this uh, post of um of MPs, we must see who we are giving this post. Already we have given them light now, but next, like um, 2022, which is a very close, uh, cl close to us now, we are saying every constituency must be doing something to, to see that they are not electing somebody who is a rogue, because some of them, they are rogue MPs, and therefore they can talk whatever they want to talk, they can, they can speak whatever they want to speak. And you know, they got a lot of no, nail calling, nail call, name calling, and they think when they come to church, that is why they can call each and every, every body of them the name that they want to call. But we are saying, come 2022, pastors and clergy, bishops, will sit down and see who to elect and who is not to elect. We are, in fact, we have drawn a line and we are saying it is now a church versus the MPs because we will not elect readers who will come back and start, you know, uh, throwing, uh, throwing stones to our people or doing something that is very wrong in the church. We and, will not allow that. And you earlier told me that uh, uh, what we see in church, uh, people making sentiments of uh, abusing each other is in itself corruption. How Can you describe how is that? Is it corrupting the church or members of the church or is it in itself corruption? I, you know, we've been talking about this corruption and I'm, and I'm saying this is a spiritual thing that should be dealt with by spiritual people. And uh, these guys, when they come, you know, even when they are coming to church, they, they want to corrupt the church. But we are saying the church will not be corrupt. And we will not allow the church to be corrupted by these guys. Because if they corrupt us, they will not be able to do what, you know, we want on the ground. And therefore we are saying no to any corruption, no to nothing. And we are saying we will follow the way of Christ and the way of the Bible. And we will not allow them to corrupt us or to corrupt the church. And we are stopping this by prayer and even by calling them. In co and, and we are saying if they are good enough. Why do, don't they engage us and, in fact, tell us, come, we incorporate you guys in this fight against corruption so that you can fight together? Finally, my last question, what is the role of a congregation, apart from the role that is being given the churches and the priests and the pastors, what is the role of the congregation and the general public in ensuring that we don't allow leaders to make political sentiments that bring division and exchange of brawls in churches? It's to stand still, in fact, and say we are not giving a damn. We are saying, and our, in fact, our members. The good thing is that our members are, at, uh, in fact, they are, they are supporting us and they are saying the time has come whereby Wanjiko must be helped. Not individuals, you know, because these guys take an individual and tell that individual 
Why can't you help me to get these people here? You know, and, and we are saying this must stop because that is why Wanjiko is being, you know, clashed down and he cannot, she, she cannot be helped. We are saying no to this. And we are, the, the whole church, wherever the church is today, I am calling upon bishops and pastors and every clergy member who knows about the second generation and to them that do not know about the second generation, come and know our mission and what we have so that we can join hands together and fight this, help our president, help our deputy on fighting corruption uh, spiritually because we are spiritual men, we are spiritual women and we know how well to fight about this. Thank you very much for making time with KTN News. Uh, that is uh, Bishop Karioki uh, making sentiments and of course uh, articulating and trying to demystify how and what is the solution towards these men as a number of uh, priests and uh, of course bishops are uh, clergy and clerk uh, within uh, the second generation going around the country. We perhaps uh, hope to expect and see how much impact will be made in addressing this particular menace and as you viewers watching at home, whether you're a parent, whether you're a leader, or whether you are a youth uh, in, in this society, you have a role and responsibility to ensure that you take what is not right, you don't take what is not right, and take what is uh, right in society, advocating for what is good within our society or what to consume in our society. From County 0 to 